Hello and welcome to Spike's Breezeway Cocktail Hour. Aloha! Welcome back to Spike's Breezeway Cocktail Hour. Glad to have you guys here again. We have a guest all of the way from Sao Paulo, Brazil. I have not only been friends with this model for a couple of years, I don't want to tell you exactly why she's here, but at the end of the episode, you will certainly find out. I would like to bring onto the show the murder queen, Miss Larissa. Hello. Hi. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being on the show. <laughs> have you ever seen this show before? Not really. What is it about? Yes, I've seen every single one of them. Every the episodes. single episode. From how, the number one episode. How many of you out there can say that you've seen every single episode? I don't know. We just spent some time in Palm Springs. Mm -hmm. And where did we go in Palm Springs? We went to the Tonga Hut. We mm -hmm. went to the, the reef. <laughs> the tropics. Yeah, we did tropics, yeah. <laughs> and then we came back here and then we went to... We went to Strong Water and Trader Sam's at Disneyland Hotel. So we've been to four tiki bars in like a week? Yeah, maybe. Something like that. And I've never been to any tiki bars before that. So. You've never been to any tiki bars before? No, no, no. Really? Tiki bars are not really a thing in Brazil. So then you've never been to a Trader Vic's before? No, never. Well, tonight, because you're the murder queen, <laughs> we're going to make a cocktail called the zombie. Mm -hmm. Now, the of course. Zombie? <laughs> not the hot zombie. Different zombie? Different zone. Okay. Now, of course, Donna Beachcomber is famous for creating the zombie in 1934, but everybody had their version of the zombie. And I've never tried the Trader Vic's version of the zombie. You never did? I never did. Mm -hmm. And as you can see here, this is the ingredients for the Trader Vic's zombie. And right over here are the ingredients for the Donna Beachcomber zombie. You can see that they almost share nothing. So. <laughs> I'm very curious to see what this cocktail is like. So for this cocktail, we will be using lemons, limes, oranges, grenadine, orange curacao, light rum, we're gonna be using the Cruzon, and a dark Jamaican rum, we will be using the Caruba tonight. We're gonna to start by cutting a lime in half. Okay. The Trader Vic's Bartender's Guide says, we need juice of one half of a lime, which means half an ounce of lime juice. So one ounce of lime juice for two cocktails. Go right ahead. And you know how to do it and everything, huh? I've seen your show. Okay, so let's do the other half now. That was already hard. <laughs> okay, thank you. So one ounce of lime juice for two cocktails. Okay. Where's that white ceramic knife? The white ceramic knife? Yeah. You are old school. <laughs> it's been replaced by the shoon. Okay, so we're looking for one ounce of lemon juice per cocktail, so we need two ounces of lemon juice. Mm -hmm. Perfect. That's it. That's it right there. Okay, so two ounces of lemon juice for two cocktails. Orange juice now. Feels like a very juicy orange. Okay, so for this cocktail, we need one and a half ounces of orange juice per cocktail. So we're looking for three ounces of orange juice. You don't have a three ounce. No, we'll have to do two and one. Oranges kind of don't produce that much juice. It's weird. Mm -hmm. Especially since people drink orange juice so much. <laughs> yeah, you need like five oranges to make one glass of juice. I know. <laughs> Ooh. Good, good one. <laughs> you just make all of your gas do all the work for you. Yeah. Okay, so there's two ounces there. We're looking for another ounce of orange juice. Okay, that's good. Okay. All right, three ounces of orange juice or two cocktails. Now we're looking for a quarter ounce of grenadine per cocktail. So that'll be a half an ounce of grenadine. Quarter ounce per cocktail, half an ounce for two. <laughs> it's probably best to pour that on the thing. Yeah, that way it doesn't move on you. Mm -hmm. Perfect, very nice. Okay, one ounce of orange curacao per cocktail, so two ounces of orange curacao. Have you ever tasted this? Is it like home trial? Kind of. Mm. And the zombie was one of those cocktails that Don the Beachcomber created that really made the place blow up in Hollywood in the 1930s. On his menu, he said limit two per customer. So people would go in there and be like, uh, dude, I can drink more than that. They'd be like, no, 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 no. So everybody had their version. Just like when Vic made the Mai Tai in 1944, everybody had a Mai Tai. It doesn't mean it was necessarily a Mai Tai. 
I'm so curious to find out what this zombie tastes like. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's gonna taste like a Dom the Beachcomber zombie at all. Is that the one that we had um, last night? Oh yeah, that was the Beach Bum Berry at Hamilton zombie. Mm -hmm. It tastes similar. Yeah. <laughs> so onto the rum. We're gonna start with the light rum where a zombie has two ounces of rum and then one ounce of overproof rum, this only has two ounces. So it's not as potent as the Don the Beachcomber cocktail. So one ounce per cocktail. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it was a little messy. A little messy, all right. And then for the dark Jamaican rum, we're gonna be using Karuba. It's like a staple dark Jamaican mixing rum. Everybody loves it. It's a great rum. Mmm, mm. doesn't smell like weird. Doesn't smell like glue. <laughs> two ounces? You can use that in your marketing, Karuba. <laughs> yeah. Yes, two ounces. Perfect. And so there's the cocktail. That is the Trader Vic zombie. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some ice to it, hit it with the mixer, and then pour them into something very special. Mm, I wonder what that is. I wonder what it is also. <laughs> All right, last week we posted a video about tiki ice. Did you watch that video? I did. So we're going to be using some ice from the Opal machine. You can see it makes this incredible pebble ice. The instructions from Trader Vic say, blend with one scoop of shaved ice. We're gonna be using two of these scoops because I would say that these two scoops probably equate one industrial size scoop. So do you know how to use that? Mm -hmm. you already use it. Go ahead and push it towards the back of it there. Yep, and then you're gonna go up to where it latches. Hold on, hold on one second. We only want to mix it for about eight seconds. Okay. Okay. Are you counting? Sure. <laughs> okay, that's that's good. <laughs> like I wasn't pulse, moving at all. Pulse blending it over here. Okay, so our announcement. Brand new zombie glasses from Spike's Breezeway Cocktail Hour, illustrated by Miss Larissa here. <laughs> And these are the glasses. You can't see them yet. I'm sure that once we add the cocktail, you'll be able to see them. Mm -hmm. Let's see what happens when we add the drink. Ooh. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> this one's a little darker than the, the other zombie that we had. I think it looks nicer. Yeah, it is a little bit darker than the other zombie. And of course you wanna add ice to fill all the way to the top. All right, so there's the cocktails. I love how these came out. Me it looks so good. <laughs> Let's finish garnishing them with these little Trader Vic's dudes. Grab the cherries, please. Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen cherries this big before? <laughs> You're like, I haven't is killing me. seen any cherries at all. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, yeah, I've never seen cherries that big. <laughs> seriously. Okay, we're gonna put that little dude in there. Is that the Manahuni? It is the Manahuni. Ooh, see? I watch your show. I know. <laughs> this is a person that has never been to a Trader Vic's before or even a tiki bar before, right? No, I've been to four tiki bars. But you've seen 80 something episodes of the Breezeway <laughs> Cocktail. Yeah. Out. So here are the drinks. And then we are going to garnish with mint. You're going to smack that mint. <laughs> here you go. Me? Yep. Is My that too God. aggressive for you? <laughs> The way you looked at me when you did that was very intimidating. Well, mmm. Smells good, huh? It smells really good. So when you smack the mint, it um, breaks up the leaves and uh, releases the oils, and it smells so much better. Mm -hmm. And the idea was that you were bringing the cocktail up to your mouth, you're smelling the mint while you're drinking the drink. I have another surprise announcement. The folks at Surfside Sips approached me and they said, hey, uh, Spike, do you want to do branded Spike's Breezeway Cocktail Hour straws? And yeah. I was like, what do I have to do? And he's like, nothing. And I was like, yes, I totally do. So these are the offering from Surfside Sips. You can see there's a little white box at the top with my logo. You purchase these on their website, then you help to support the Breezeway Cocktail Hour. Which one would you like to use for your drink? Uh, this one that looks more like bandy. Oh, very nice. Ooh. Then I think I will use the same ish color here, a little darker, and we'll put that right in the back there. And so from Trader Vic's Bartender's Guide from 1972, this is Trader Vic's Zombie. You ready? Yeah. In the glasses that you illustrated. Cheers. <laughs> oh, 
Mmm, it's very orangey. <laughs> very orangey. Very not too strong. No, it tastes nothing like a zombie. But everybody had their version, so it's very different from the one that we had. The Don the Beachcomber version. Mm -hmm. It's very citrus forward. Mm -hmm. I don't think I can taste the rum at all. <laughs> very dangerous. Right. Yeah, very dangerous. <laughs> I think the grenadines there mainly just for color, because the fruit juices overpower just about everything. It seems like. But I like it. It's good. Yeah, I think it's good. If you have the ingredients at home, I'd recommend that you try it. Try it and let us know in the comments below what you think about it. I don't know that this is a drink that on a Saturday night I'd be going, dude, I gotta make that Trader Vic zombie again. Mm -hmm. But it's not a bad drink. Maybe unless it's like really hot and you need something really refreshing. <laughs> that would do it. Yes, like if you were in Sao Paulo. <laughs> yeah, maybe. You, you have a lot of wild animals in Sao Paulo? No, we don't. <laughs> we, we don't have monkeys jumping around. You don't? Also, no. Why, why not? I don't know. Why don't we have monkeys here? Why would there be monkeys here? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> but isn't the Brazil the jungle? No, it's not. <laughs> I think you have more so rainforest there. It's a really big city, but where I live, like kind of the middle of nowhere, we do have some nice little creatures. Like around. what kind of creatures? Not monkeys. Oh. Like porcupines. <laughs> porcupines? That's not very Weird tropical. Birds. Like two what kind cans. of weird? Oh, yeah, two I cans. I always see two cans. One okay. One. Not every Brazilian person gets to say that, you know. Wish Do you get to see two cans? I'm never going to see two cans. Yeah. See. Not unless we're talking about cereal. <laughs> but what was your favorite tiki bar out of the four that we went to? I feel like they were all very different mm -hmm. from each other. Which one do you think had the best decor? Strong water. Strong water? Yeah, because I kind of like where they clutter love mm -hmm. with a lot of things going on at the same time. It's very dark. It's very dark, yeah. Uh, which one had the best cocktails? Maybe strong water too? <laughs> but I think they were very different from the other ones that we had. Yeah, because like when you go to Tonga Hut, they're very traditional style. Mm -hmm. They're exceptional cocktails. Mm -hmm. They were really good. But strong water is just like a next level. Yeah, but I feel like they taste more modern, maybe. They definitely taste more modern. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's your favorite tiki cocktail that you have had in the breezeway while you've been here? Ooh. I think it was the zombie. The zombie. Not this one. <laughs> the other Not one. Not this one. <laughs> the Don the Beach combo. But I like one. this one too. Yeah. What is the difference um, in the ingredients between the two? Uh, the zombie from Don the Beach Comer is is much spicier. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's what I like about the drinks that we have. There's Pernod in it, so it has like a little bit of like a almost like a licorice kind of bitterness to it. Mm -hmm. And then the overproof rum really lights it up too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I really like this, but it's kind of not something really new to me because I think in Brazil, mm. all of our drinks are very fruity, citrusy. So. It tastes very hotel pool cocktail. Not mad about that. Not mad about that either. But if I'm looking for like a really good tiki cocktail, it's mm -hmm. also not what I'm looking for. Yeah, I like the spice. Mm -hmm. So your illustrations mm -hmm. are going to be for sale on this glass as soon as this episode ends. It's a very limited edition thing. Very limited I'm edition. Them, okay. So once they're gone, they're gone. Your colors that you chose were very, say, 1940s? Yes. So since they are spring printed, mm -hmm. I was looking for something very simple, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. color-wise at least. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, I, I was looking at a lot of matchbox designs uh -huh. from the 1940s and 50s. And from Tiki Bars. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's really nice because once you put a cocktail in the glass like this color, mm -hmm. then the whole design really comes to life. Yeah. yeah. I like it. Very I good. also try to include a few breezeway elements. Oh. Do you see them? I do, I do see the Tiki. The big Tiki over here. Mm-hmm. That we also had made in a Tiki mugs mm -hmm. that was carved by Leroy Schmaltz of Oceanic Arts. Yeah. And also this pattern right here is the one that you have on the bar right there. Oh. <laughs> very nice. <laughs> yeah. And then the girl looks like you. What? <laughs> <laughs> Did you put yourself on the Breezeway no, cocktail that hour? No. <laughs> kind of looks oh, like her. Okay. It even I'll looks like that. your dress. Does it? Uh, kind yeah. of. <laughs> <laughs> so you've seen every episode. Who was your favorite guest? Ooh, my favorite guest. Um, I'll have to say who comes first. <laughs> what do you mean? I don't want to make anyone mad here. You're not going to make me mad. Well, we've been in every episode. So I really like 
um, is Pinup Palmer's episodes. Mm -hmm. Everybody loves her. Everybody loves Pinup Palmer. I yeah. really liked Linda's episode. Mm -hmm. It was definitely one of my favorites. Uh, the Disney Imagineer. Yes, uh -huh. some great stories in that. Yep. Um, I do love the McBiff's episode. <laughs> Everybody loves McBiff. Everybody loves McBiff. And McBiff was texting us while we were in Palm Springs. Oh yeah. And he said that he was at a signing at Walt Disney World mm -hmm. and oh, no. from like a hundred yards away, some guy yells, panties, <laughs> doing this. And McBiff is signing a painting. For at like, Disney World. At Disney World. And he looks up and he's just like, oh no. <laughs> Oh what God. have I done? I was like, McBiff, this is a bad character. It's a creepy, creepy clown. It was almost too creepy for me. Almost. I know, and you're the murder that queen. That takes a lot. Queen of murdering. <laughs> okay, and also, one of my top favorite episodes was Justin's. Oh, Justin's so I've been Scar. watching Justin's Scar's videos for a while, mm -hmm. and I didn't know you were friends with him. Yeah. I think I, I found out about his channel because of the... Universal Studios Horror Nights videos. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then I saw that he did a bunch of videos in the Brisbane. Mm -hmm. And I was like, Whoa. long time ago. Who is that guy? Yeah. <laughs> Who's that guy? Justin's always great when he's on the show, and uh, we hope to have him back again soon. Mm -hmm. I think that he wants to talk about the closing of Oceanic Arts. Mm. And of course, Oceanic Arts, Leroy Schmaltz of Oceanic Arts carved just about everything on this back wall from this guy to the, the big masks. The big carvings, just a luminary of tiki creation and tiki history all the way back from the 1950s. So we look forward to eventually talking to Justin about that stuff. Yeah, this this drink's just a whatever drink. It's good. I'm not I'm not bummed on it. It's like an orange juice. It's like an orange <laughs> juice, yeah. It's like an orange juice with some other fruit flavors and then some rum and I don't know. It's like fine. It's it's a fine drink. It's a fine drink. Yeah, I'm not gonna call it a great drink. Is there a cocktail that you wanted to try that I featured on the show? Yes, on the top of my hat, I remember the the one that you did on a glass that was a vintage glass of a lady holding the drink. Mm -hmm. We do have a Patreon and the only way that you can get one of these pins, actually this is not the pin that you get, but she already has the other pin. Mm -hmm. The only way that you get one of these pins is either if you are on the show or if you join the $10 tier of our Patreon, tell us what's going on on the back of this backing. So, on the back of this backing? Yes. <laughs> I was the one who designed this. Mm -hmm. It's a breezeway bar. <laughs> very nice. Yeah, she, very fun. She handles, she handles all of our illustrating jobs these days. Okay, yay. Have you ever told your YouTube viewers that you do a pre-party every Friday night? I have on never Instagram? said that. I don't think I've ever said that. You're right. And you've been to almost every one of those too. Yeah, pretty much every one of those. 85 pre-parties and maybe, well, maybe missed a couple here or there. So on Friday nights before these episodes premiere at 6.30 at six o'clock on Instagram at the Hula Girls, we do like a live chat. So if you aren't already aware of that and you'd like to join, we would love to see you there. And you can probably say hi to the Murder Queen too. Yeah, because I'm always there. And we have a our later um, Spikes Bruceway family thing we going do. on. Yeah. <laughs> all the all the friends that we've met through that that whole deal. Uh huh. Yeah, oh, and we we went to Morro Bay for New Year's Eve. Oh, that's right. And we also met some of your subscribers, uh -huh. viewers as well. We it was met. Really fun. Yeah, we met a lot of our uh, a lot of our fans and friends from the show. Mm -hmm. And the Hula and I girl. went to my first. Hula Girls show. You went to your ever. first Hula Girls show <laughs> ever, yeah. My guitar kept falling off. <laughs> it was very fun. It was very fun. The Hula Girls played to a sold out club on New Year's Eve at the Siren at Morro Bay. Mm -hmm. you, actually, you probably took some of the best photos that I've ever had of the band. Ooh. I know, it's amazing. <laughs> Super good. Mm -hmm. All right, so I think that's all. That's all? Yeah, okay. thanks for being on the show. Thank you for having me. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> so please hit the subscribe button if you aren't already. Leave a comment. Leave a comment. Tell us what you think about the glasses. Yeah, tell us what you think about the glasses. And you can get yours now. Yeah. Where? Thehulagirls.bigcartel.com. <laughs> yeah. All right, they're on sale now. Aloha. Cheers. What should I do now? I don't know any jokes. Sorry, I have an accent. You do have an accent, but you do speak English very well. I don't. Yeah, you totally do. I can't speak English. Well, now you're speaking it in front of <laughs> hundreds of thousands of people. Oh, no. Why is it so uncomfortable? I don't know. <laughs> there you go.
I guess a lemon. <laughs> Is that close enough? Oranges? Or do that. We're gonna start by cutting a lime in half. That's a lemon. It's all the same thing for us, sir. Oh, lime and lime? Yeah, it's just it's one lemon. word. Oh, weird. <laughs> How do you tell the difference between the two? Call that one like a Sicilian lime. Huh? So Where's for the that? Mixing rum. It's like a staple gym dark. Oh my god. <laughs> it's stuck. Okay, go up and then back. <laughs> That's it. I am very elegant. Yes. <laughs> my mom's episode. <laughs> I really loved your mom's episode. Yeah. So it's very sweet. Yes. <laughs> On Instagram doc. Oh my god. That was your episode of the Breezeway Cocktail Hour. Mm. Was that weird? It was very weird. Mm -hmm. Very shy. Was it weird the first time that you came into the backyard and saw the, the bar and everything? It's weird because I've seen like a thousand photos and videos from here for, mm -hmm. for two years. Look at those guys. Oh, there's like a parade of douchebags. <laughs> oh, we gotta shoot this slow motion stuff now. Mm. What do you want to do for that? Thank you.